And this container is liquid nitrogen, which is about negative 320 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that's really cold. Let's pour some over these raspberries and we'll see what happens. That's been about three seconds, so they should be frozen. Want proof? So fast freezing isn't just cool for party tricks like this. The rate at which a food freezes, like raspberries, steak, or shrimp, has a big impact on how much moisture they lose during thawing. So check this out. This strainer contains thawed raspberries that I froze using liquid nitrogen, which you saw took about two seconds. In this strainer are thawed raspberries that I froze in a zipper lock bag in a crowded freezer. That took about two hours. Now the slow freeze raspberries look pretty deflated, but the real story is underneath in the bowl. As you can see, they exuded about 10% of their weight in juice. That's a lot. While the fast freeze berries lost almost nothing at all. Why does this happen? Well, in the freezer, water inside food turns to sharp ice crystals that puncture cell walls. That causes water loss during thawing. But the size of those ice crystals depends on the speed of freezing. Faster freezing means smaller ice crystals and less damage. And commercial producers know this. They use blast chillers to freeze their fruits and vegetables rapidly for the very best quality. But here's how you can do it at home. Space foods out on a baking sheet and freeze uncovered in a freezer that's not overcrowded. Then just transfer your fully frozen foods to a zipper lock bag for storage. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.